Hey Tubers, this is Taco Telsey, and today we are taking our first foray into the game known as City Skylines. This is a city builder game uh, made by Paradox Interactive out of Stockholm, Sweden, and they put a lot of love into this game. You can really tell right off the bat. Um, pretty much the first things you notice this game, outside of you know typical sim builders like SimCity and Cities Excel, is that the game does not suck. Um, you have very wide range and the types of cities you can build. Um, the map sizes are not tiny minuscule cities as well so you can really and really uh, really enjoy making uh, huge sprawling metropolises and that kind of stuff and there's no forced you know online DRM any of that nonsense that SimCity put out and in the case of Cities Excel this game is stable it's very uh, not many crashes I don't think I've crashed once playing this game and um, yeah and it runs pretty well it runs really smoothly um, even with me I do have a lot of mods uh, for my City Skylines game so the little times can get a little long but at the same time everything else runs pretty flawlessly in game I don't normally pre-order games but I had to peruse the uh, reddit forum for this game for quite a while and I ended up pre-ordering it and it came out around mid-March so um, without further ado let's get right into City Skylines and we're gonna make the next big metropolis so we're gonna get started here uh, we're just gonna get right into it and um, here you have the different maps you can run or I'm sorry the different maps you can choose from um, you have all I and mean, they're just named different things you can obviously uh, change the name of the city so you're not uh, limited to these things but um, I played Otter Falls last time but I don't think I'm gonna play it this time the only thing is some of these maps are pretty flat um, you can download things online and off the uh, Steam Workshop to um, get more variety in your maps. But uh, we'll probably go with something a little flat this time around. Um, Island sounds cool. Sandy, sh shady strands. We can do. Hmm. It also tells you how much area you can build down here on the bottom on the bottom right as well. So we'll choose an area where we can uh, get some pretty decent building land we'll do I don't know we'll do the black woods it has a pretty uh, has pretty uh, ample natural resources as well and we're gonna name this city how about we just do taco land taco no we'll do taco Ville. taco villa how about los tacos los talk angeles why not los talk angeles is the name of our city and we're gonna get right into it so we'll i'll meet you there on the map um i do have a lot of mods so the loading times kind of suck but um hey that's pretty much the fun of the game so we're gonna go ahead and get started here i think we also have an option screen but uh we'll see what options we can choose when we get to the other side all right folks here we are so um the name of the game build an awesome city so as you can see um, we do have quite an ample, ample amount of land we can work with. Unfortunately, this is all we have to work with is this little plot right here. But um, as you uh, gain more points and more money throughout the city, um, you'll be able to add and purchase these other plots of land. And I believe I have a mod you can purchase up to 9 by 9 or is it... I don't exactly remember. I think it's I think it's a 5x5 five five plot of land. So I think it's 25 plots. So um, I know they have mods now you can pretty much unlock up to like, you know, 35, 75, I think you can go up to 99, but the uh, the game has issues at that point. So you kind of want to go a little, you don't want to go too crazy, but um, it, it's really nice. It's, it's a really well-made game. It looks looks really, really good. I have a lot of options here. I can also change things because of the mods that I have. Um, it's been a while since I played, though. And by a while, I mean it's been quite some time. But um, yeah, for the most part, everything is pretty awesome. So um also you can you can start a game you can have all the milestones and stuff unlocked and all that kind of stuff but um, i'm gonna kind of i'm playing this one straight i'm not gonna do too much in the way of crazy mods i think i mean other than like the building mods and that kind of stuff um i'll do but um nothing's really unlocked as far as you know all these things and that kind of stuff so we can unlock that as we go on so here we go so first off i want to Obviously, the first thing in any city builder games, you want to get your, um, yeah, you want to get, where's the bulldozer? You want to get, you want to get some power going. So, I think what I want to do is, I don't know, I'm not a really a big fan of this. I don't know, I don't like these, the two highway type thing these you have going on at the beginning of the game. I don't, really have never been a fan of that. So we're going to nip that in the bud pretty quick here and just build a, I don't know, we'll build something like this. 
So that way, I guess, when you're coming on from a highway, you'll be able to get into the get in and out pretty quickly. But I'm not able to actually, you know, even... Ugh, I'm not even able to... Um, I'm not able to build six lane rows. So we're just going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead going to do this. So we want to have one way rows. At least that way we could uh, cut back in congestion. I don't know why we had two lane rows. So now we go. So now we have uh, some one lane rows going here because you can only go this way here and there. And you know what? I don't mind. We'll keep it going. So we'll also have one lane road coming this way. And we will have a one lane a one way going this way as well. So there we go. So you have your little, um, you've got your little grids here. Those are your building grids. You can you can build all your uh, your zones and stuff like that for your wonderful city to prosper. So in the meantime, we don't really need that right now. And on, okay, I think what I want to do, okay, there are some mods I go, I want to turn on because there are some uh, city managing mods that are pretty cool. And I want to make sure I have those turned on. I don't think anything, I think all my mods and stuff are turned off now that I think about it. So, I'm actually going to... No, there's some things in. I think the mods are turned off. So, I'm going to go back uh, to the mod, to my mod list in my options. Turn some of the mods on. I'm going to save this, and I'll see you right back here. And we'll get started. Alright, we're back. Um, I had to actually go in and... Oh, shoot. I just had to go back and... Reload the city. Because I realized I had started the game without all the mods, and I figured that if I had gone in... And started the city and then return mods back on it would cause issues so I had to go back and I recreate the city I recreated these uh, roads the roads look a little different because I do have a uh, road color changer mod as well I don't like the color of the original roads I think these are a little bit more natural these look a little bit better and um, there's also a um, American uh, road uh, like American road marking set I may get as well I may put that into the city next time I don't have time to go to get go in and get that now but uh, we do live in America, so I do want to have some American roads as well. So that'll be something I look into, uh, at least for the next episode. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and start building. So the first thing you obviously want to do in any city building game is you want to make sure you have some electricity and some power. Now I have some unlocked uh, power plants as well, some power plants that you don't find in-game. These are un these are locked, for instance, obviously, like the nuclear power plant and stuff. But um, <clears throat> honestly, right now, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not super concerned about... Uh, making sure that our pollution is taken care of. So, um, but I think I'm. I usually do uh, wind uh, wind power wind turbines start off, but especially because you don't really need too much in the way of uh, power in the city early on. So we'll go ahead and drop a couple of those down. We always have to connect those power lines. So we're going to connect those here, so we can get power to. Whoops. So we can get power to our city. And also in this game, you also want to make sure that uh, you manage your sewage correctly because this game, you do deal with sewage. So uh, we are going to place um, sewage and you have to also take a look at, at uh, where the water flow is going because you want, you want to make sure you put your uh, sewage plants in a place where um, you're not getting water from. So for instance, if we put our sewage down here, we can draw water from up here. We can put our water pumps up here because that way we're not drawing out dirty water from... Um, the, the river and getting our citizens sick. Um, so we want to make sure we put it, we're going to put it over here because we have a pretty strong current so that'll take away a lot of the mucky water and we can also always um, use this water up here to draw from. So uh, we also need to connect this. We need to connect this to our city as well and while we're at it we'll go ahead and put in a pumping station. I want to put the pumping station further down. You know, we'll use a mini pumping station because they look pretty cool. This is also a uh, modded, I guess, custom content, if you want to call it, from I, I got from the Steam Workshop. So, you also need to, as well, um, connect those uh, with electricity. So, I think what we'll do is we'll just connect this thing over here, and that'll kill two birds with one stone. Um, so, yeah, so we have, have our water pipes, and that is connected power-wise. No, it's not. Why don't you have power? That's because this is not connected. Duh. Alright, so we gotta connect. Now we're ready to go. So now we're gonna have power. And we also need to get this pipe going into our city. So, um, we'll just put that thing there. 
We'll just go ahead and start building some uh, pipe infrastructure in the meantime, so I don't have to deal with it later. Water's the one thing I always forget about in this game. I always forget about water. Electricity you can't forget about because it's all it's there. But water is one thing I, I tend to overlook sometimes, so. We are going to be the good mayor that we are and make sure our citizens have water. And also, I need to make sure I manage my money because I'm used to playing this game without having any monetary restrictions. So, I need to be careful. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start building so we can get money from our loving, from our loving subjects in our city. Um, and also, another great game, thing about this game is you can uh, create curved roads. So, um, I don't think we're going to do any curved roads this moment. But uh, we will put some in our city. I still want to expand this a little bit more. All right, cool. And we'll go ahead and... Oh, these tool tips are going to be annoying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start building some um, some roads as well. Um, another thing is... Okay, so a mod I did... I came back and took off. I need to take off is... I need to enable the uh, this mode. So what this mod does, it turns on traffic lights... Um, so you can turn on traffic lights on and off into your city um, for each intersection. I don't want any traffic lights here because that's going to kind of kill traffic. And I don't even like the fact that this is here but because that's going to also cause some issues. But that's the best we can do for now. So we're going to go ahead and start plopping. So you can plop. You can, all, you can, fill, in the, you can fill in the grid with the, uh, with the fill-in tool. Um, there's also a brush tool. There's a fill-in tool. This way you can uh, create a grid. But um, I like to use the brush tool personally. Unless I know I'm filling in something, Ooh, that's that's part of the reason why I don't use the brush tool because you start filling in things you don't want to fill in. But uh, for simulation streak, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, but I think I'll use the box tool for now because that seems to be something I want to do. So I'll go go ahead and get this started. Um, I'd like to make my cities look nice. Functionality. I mean, obviously you have to have a functional city, so it's going to be functional. But um, I'm very I'm so much into uh, the aesthetics that. I hate, like even this, this is too blocky for me right now, but since it's early on, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but uh, we, I do, I would like to, uh, you know, make it look nice, make it look like a nice, sprawling, organic kind of neighborhood, and we're also going to speed up time because it's a little too slow for my taste, and Evan, since we are going to be basically filling in this whole thing, we're just going to fill this in and this in with uh, residential spots. And I think along the main roads, I want to have some commercial here. Now these roads are going to have to be updated. I know for a fact because this, I know this is going to this is eventually going to get very uh, very busy. These roads here, and I want to I want to get these going as uh, six lane highways, one way highways at some point. But uh, right now that's not a problem because we don't have those unlocked. So and also you can hear the ambiance from the city. Check that out. So there you go, man. There you go. Okay, so we have a couple things going on. I had to uh, figure out how to take screenshots for this game. So, well, we figured that out. Uh, Alright, so... <clears throat> let's see. So we have about... Yeah, we're gaining about 28 bucks a week. But we'd like to get some more. Um, nothing else is building because we need industry. Industry is obviously a very dirty thing. And your citizens don't want to live near it. So we are going to tuck... put. We're going to put, put industry in a corner. Don't put baby in a corner, they say, but guess what? That's precisely what we're doing. Um, with this, you can also, uh, in a sense, create certain industries as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. But uh, right now, we don't have access to do that because uh, since we're early on in the city, we can't create districts in order to uh, determine what kind of uh, industry we want. So we are stuck with the uh, generic industry, which is fine for now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that down here, uh, far enough away from the peeps. From the peeps! Because nobody wants to live near, uh, smelly, ooh, nobody wants to live near, uh, smelly factory number 600, do they? I know I don't. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, yeah, we don't need all those. Yeah, that's plenty of space. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, fill up this spot. Yeah, we're just going to fill this. You know, I say I like using that other stuff, but I feel like I'm using, I feel like, you know, the square fills and the manual fill, but now I feel like I'm using this fill a lot early on. But that's because I'm, I'm using square tiles, and square tiles, it makes sense to use it, so. So here we go, we've got our little industry coming up, and they need water. That's what the little water thing is for, and they also need electricity. That's right, I don't have electricity coming down this way. 
so we'll go ahead and get them situated with that. Perfect. Now you've got your power, now you can quit your blabbering. And there you go. Alright, so now that we have some miniature coming in, um, is this not getting power? Like, like for reals, dog? For reals? For reals? Alright, there we go. This sounds right on the edge. Um, Alright, so now that we have industry coming in, we should get some more demand for residential. As you can see, more residential homes are starting to pop up. And there you go. Alright, so I do want to continue this one way. Is that going the right way? Which way is it going? Yeah, it's going this way. So I want to continue this. Um, we'll do that. I want to fill in these middle areas because that kind of drives me insane. But I'm not going to because I'm going to have to expand these roads. So that's so those are not going to get put anything there. But uh, we need money in the meantime, so we're gonna tr we're gonna hold off on building a little bit. Oh, check it out! We gained the level, so now we can uh, deal with taxes. We can take out loans, and also we have garbage, healthcare, and education as services. So those are new things we have to juggle as well. We unlocked an elementary school, a medical clinic, and a landfill site. I hate dealing with garbage. I hate, hate, hate dealing with garbage because it piles up so much. But it's a necessary evil in these games, so. And also, I'd love to be able to plant trees, but I can't do that right now because I don't have an option to plant trees. I have to get a population of 1,100 for trees because I want to put trees here in the middle. But ugh, this is killing my uh, creative, creative side in building, as you can tell with my uh, <laughs> with my uh, grids, my grid layout. It's so it's so perfect, you know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fill this in with some more homes. There you go. Bam, bam. Yeah. Also, our speed went down. That also happens when uh, when you gain a level. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, these are one raid roads, right? Yeah. These. No, my one raids are there. I'm going crazy. All right. And we're going to fill the spot in as well. We'll have a little symmetrical thing going. I promise we will um, get away from the grids. I promise, promise, promise. Because I know grids are especially ugly. That's how American cities are done. American cities are very grid-like. Because they're efficient, you know what I mean? They're, they're efficient. You get everything you need in a little area, and you don't have to worry about going too crazy. But, um, for the sake of it, oh, we need to get garbage. So, already we need to get garbage. Um, we can't get the recycling center. Dang it. I really like recycling centers. Um, alright, so we're stuck with a landfill, so we're gonna put the landfill out... Not here. We're gonna put the landfill out here. They have, the, they have road access, so yeah. I don't really care too much about making uh, about making the residential side. I'm sorry, the industrial happy or not? Because guess what? You're already polluting enough as it is. So we've got our landfill down here. So now we'll see the, the garbage trucks. Ooh, check it out, man. We'll slow it down so you can see them. Yes, yeah, so the garbage trucks are doing their routes. And that's another thing, because you want to you be able to manage traffic, so that way uh, just people can deal with your services and all that kind of stuff, and you don't have to worry about having a glut of uh, sick people or dying people or garbage showing up in places that you don't want, because they don't have access to it. So, you want to make sure, you want to make sure. Alright, so we'll go ahead and um, we're going to we'll create, a, we'll create a curved road here. Show you what, that, what that's all about. Check that out. Now, we want to get a little bit... Yeah, there we go. So yeah, check that out. We got a curved road. Again, it's not the most efficient way to build a city, but it looks nice. And I like the way it looks, so we'll go ahead and curve these babies out a little bit. Uh, we don't we don't do straight roads here. We'll do straight roads here. Do a straight road here. We'll connect. And we'll fill that in with some more stuff in the meantime. Um We'll just go ahead and start doing this. Get a couple segments of road here. We'll also go ahead and kind of create little uh, inlets here. We'll send no outlets with some alleys. Uh, it would have been cool to create alleys in this game, but there's no option to create, you know, bona fide alleys. But that's cool. That's fine. We don't need them anyway. But we're going to go ahead. Yeah, we're just going to use this tool. You know, maybe I don't need the other tools that much, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I was imagining things. We're going to go ahead and fill these areas up. 
with some residential right in here. Uh, we'll these roads may get a little busy, so I might want to put some uh, commercial out here. We'll put some commercial out here. Commercial does get a little bit noisy, so I mean, yeah, residents even aren't too keen on uh, settling in next to uh, commercial outlets, but that's what they're going to have to deal with anyway, because F the police. My subjects must remain loyal to me at all times, no matter their living situations. So we got to make sure we get some water, and we want to make sure we have some power. Because these guys have none. They should get some soon, though. Once once, we, once they start building, they should get power. Ah, no, nah, you know what? We'll just... We'll, we'll do what's necessary. Because one thing is, I, I hate putting in power lines because... Um, it kind of kills off your building zone area. It's not like SimCity where they would build over the power lines they would take them down. I mean, power still moves from grid to grid, like in the SimCity games, but you kind of have to wait for cities, wait for uh, these little areas to get developed before you can, um, before you can uh, get power there. So, all right, so we have people clamoring for healthcare. What do you want healthcare for? And education. What do you need education for? Well, we'll go ahead and we'll be nice. And oh, we're a worthy village. Population is 700. So now we unlock districts. So we'll be able to change that and uh, put in uh, in industry-specific areas. We can also have opened up police, fire department, all that kind of good stuff. And forestry. This forestry specialization. So we still can't uh, add in any um, parks and stuff yet, but we don't really need that right now. But um, right now, in the meantime, what I would like to do is put in... We'll put in them some health because people tend to get upset about health pretty pretty quick. So, um, ooh, there's a new doctor's office here. Ooh, we'll put in we'll put in this doctor's office. This is a uh, custom doctor's office I had downloaded and I haven't used it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I don't want to put it there because I'm gonna have to expand those roads. I'm gonna have to. Uh, we will put it here. So check it out. Ah, oh, check out the little doctor's office. That's cute. Ooh, right across from the color store. Um, these guys still don't have power. Why are they not getting power? We're really like on the very, very extreme edge of this. Or maybe it could be that, you know what? We don't have enough available electricity. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right, so we should, we'll put another one down. Yeah, all right, so that should go into the green, hopefully. There we go. So now we have some electricity for the time being. And it looks like we also need some water because we're already out of water. So we're going to go ahead and put another water pumping station in right next to this one. You pretty much group these babies together. That's really all you do. I think these are connected. Yeah, these should be connected. So, And they also have no power because I cut off the power supply. There you go. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, yeah, okay, we got power, so now everybody's situated, so we have power going on. We are moving in the right direction. But in the meantime, we're gonna... We want to keep making sure... Ah, this is driving me insane, I really... I'm not used to playing this game proper, let's just, let's just put it that way, so... It's moving a little bit slower than I'd like. A little bit slower. Um, I do... You know, I want to be... I want to be that guy, I want to delete some of these homes, because... You know what? No, they, they can manage. They can manage. No, because we. Nah, you know what? Mm. I think I want to. Because this area, I, and I'm, we're gonna. They're gonna need better access. You know what? They can access it from here. Yeah, we'll just do this. We don't want a curved road. We want straight roads. You know, I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah, they don't get happy when you moss their homes, but. It's something I had to do. Alright, so um, we're going to grid this in. Man, I really hate grids, but right now it's just kind of what we're stuck with. Okay. And yeah, we have a perfect connector here, so um, I don't want to go too crazy as far as making a bunch of intersections. We can put one there. And we will put. Okay, it looks like they don't put traffic lights in by default anymore, which is cool. But I do think once traffic starts picking up, we'll have to uh, we'll have to manage that. Yeah, once 
Yeah, I don't think any of these roads really need travel lights. Maybe out here because you do, we'll have people coming in from the city. Um, I'm sorry, from the highway. We'll have to put some here. So I think in these intersections, we may have to put in some... Um, I would also wish we could turn these crosswalks off. I'm sure there's a mod for that, too. I'm sure there's a mod for that. Okay, so... Um, industry's booming down here. I may put a light down here. Because that's going to be uh, entrance to the work zones. And all that stuff. So, alright. I think in the meantime, we'll start... We'll put in a, a school... Put in a school. We'll put in an elementary school. We have the money for it. We can absorb the cost. And I really want to wait to. I don't want to put anything else on this until my until I can expand these roads. Because I think even when I do that, I think when I expand it, especially the six lanes, I'm going to have to demolish everything along these side along these roads. So I'm going to try my best not to put anything there. But that will be the situation for that. So we'll go ahead and we're going to put in some more homes here. Put some in here. We'll go ahead and I'll put them on these side streets. I guess they're not really side streets at this point, but eventually they will be side streets because we're going to have the main glut of our traffic probably coming up these roads. And especially up these roads. I cannot wait to expand those. That'll be super nice. Actually, you know what? We can't expand. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade... We can't upgrade the one lane to the, uh... I don't think they have four... Uh, they don't have four lane one ways. That's the weird thing. That's the weird thing. They don't have... Well, I guess you don't really need one, because you have traffic going four lanes in both directions, so... Yeah, I guess it's really not that necessary. What was I thinking? Yeah, I think we're okay for now. So traffic-wise, these won't be too bad. So I'm not going to really stress out about that. Which is okay with me. So we're going to speed this up. We'll speed this up. And, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and start building some things. So now we have traffic building up. Here we go. We're getting some traffic. So we're going to go ahead and put a school down. And we'll put a school... Yeah, I want to put in this intersection. Nah. It's not letting us. So we'll just put it down here. Alright. So I'll have a little school. How cute. How adorable. And we're making pretty good, uh, pretty good money progress. I will say, making money in this game is pretty damn easy. And that's okay with me. I hated dealing with money anyway. Give me all the, give me all the monies. Give me all the monies. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll fill this bit in with more commercial. And we're already running out of more power. Already running out of power. See, now I'm starting to want to go ahead and build a power point. And I think that's what I'm going to do, because I'm getting sick of this nonsense. Um, heavy pollution. That is 19 grand, though, for that. So, I think we're going to hold off on that. We're not made of money. We'll just keep up with the, uh, with the... With the turbines for now. Okay. We're going to fill this... We're going to fill these babies in. We're just... You know what? We're just going to... Plop that... I want to put commercial on the, on the outskirts here, on these main roads, like I did before. And then we'll go ahead and fill... Nah, that's going to look weird. Oh, tiny town! Alright, there we go. We got Alright, so we can finally make decorations, and so I can finally put trees in. Thank God. The only thing is, these cities get super boring if you don't have trees. So we're going to rectify that right now. And luckily I have a mod where I can place multiple trees at once. So, bam. I just forgot how to do it. Is it control? Control, control, shift, shift, up. Shift, up. I forgot how to do it. Ah, I forgot. Well, I think they had a... I know they have... I know there was something here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now it's going to drive me insane. I don't know how to do this. Nope, that's not it. It's a pay oh, it's page up, that's right. Nope, it's not. Nope, nope, nope. We'll figure it out. So we're just gonna place a bunch of trees because and we're gonna put trees in the middle here.
There we go. I like that. Could probably switch it up. We'll probably put a different different kinds of trees. There we go. We'll make it look nice a little. We'll make you see. Yeah, you know, we're, we're giving the people what they want. They want trees. We'll give them trees. I really forgot how to. Uh... Yeah, I honestly forgot how to do the uh... the tree brush. Eh, we don't really need it right now. But anyway, okay, so we have trees. So we can also put down some parks. I have some custom parks here. I forget what they look like. So, agri fields. Ooh, we, okay, we also have parking lots too. Because parking is also an issue in this game. You have to deal and manage with parking if it's, as if there's not enough to deal with. You also have parking as well. So, I don't know. Alright, well, we do. Okay, so people are already complaining about wanting. Um, Police protection, so we're gonna go ahead and give these peeps a police station. So we'll place it, we'll place it next to the school. That seems to be pretty, pretty safe. Now you know what? Now the predators, all the predators who want to come to the uh, to the little high school, to the little elementary school here, they are not able to do so. See, little girl, little Susie can walk her dog in peace, knowing that there's a popo station nearby. Yes, yeah, so this is also a mod here, this uh, first-person camera. You can check out the streets of your town. I feel like they've added some things. I think some of the signs for some of the commercial stuff, they be they seem to be a little bit more varied than they used to be. Um, I don't know, they all look kind of strange before. Oh, we also need a fire station! Let's do that! That is something we also don't have. That's not fire. Fire is right here. Ooh, Fire Station Ghostbusters. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put that in. The Ghostbusters Fire Station. It's got a nice look to it. Because I will say sometimes, you know, it this, the city gets looks a little too clean. So it's pretty cool when you have these old rustic looking buildings um, here. These old styles. Does he hit, I mean, check it. Let me check it out. It looks very sterile, so. This kind of uh, goes against the mold, which is cool. I like that. I like that. All right, so we have a little bit of everything. So we have our doctor's office. We have our police station. We have our fire station, all that kind of good stuff. So it looks like Los Tacangeles. That's a mouthful to say. Looks like Los Tacangeles is on the way to becoming a fledgling little community. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, for checking in. And next time, we will continue... Um, building things and making things a little bit better we'll probably look into building a no, we don't need a new pot of land right now but um oh what is it? oh it's an airplane that was a really weird sound an airplane so uh we'll go into uh building some more industry and um getting things going and making things and expanding things and making things looking good so i'll see you guys next time on city skylines peace out